returns to the U.S. to see if one of the most puzzling sites in North America, Sedona, Arizona, can meet the definition of UFO vortex as well. Sedona, Arizona, approximately 115 miles north of Phoenix, is famous for the spectacular mountains of red stone which ring the area. The color comes from a high concentration of iron, which some believe acts as a powerful conductor of magnetic and electrical energies. Could this be the explanation for Sedona's long history of inexplicable phenomena? The Sedona area has the highest per capita rate of UFO sightings in the United States, according to the team. Sedona is one of the great UFO hotspots. It's got a lot of legend, got a lot of history. Uh, people have come to Sedona specifically to climb places like Bell Rock and look at Castle Rock and all the wonderful places where they say UFOs just kind of come out through the gateway. The team meets UFO researcher Chris O'Brien, who has spent years compiling a database of local anomalous phenomena. O'Brien formulated the four criteria of UFO vortex areas that the team has been using in their investigation. Very early on, I noticed patterns of activity, and I noticed that there seemed to be quite a number of reports that were coming along specific areas in the valley. Reports of uh, strange earth-type lights or orbs, fireballs from green, orange, yellow, red, blue. They all seem to be coming from these areas or centered around these areas. One of the things that I did early on was get a uh, composite map, an aeromagnetic map of the area. It delineates out field strength in the nearest magnetic field. This U.S. Geological Survey map clearly shows the strengths of magnetic fields in the area. As shown by the key on the right, the highest readings are red, magenta, and pink. The strength of the magnetic field of the Sedona Mountains can be up to 500 times that of the surrounding countryside. You see actually, clusters of UFOs around yeah, exactly. certain areas. Actually, seams of them, and, and you plot Thousands. them. On, yeah, you plot them geographically in, in X Y space on the map, and you're you're seeing from a completely separate data source, which is magnetic field data from the government, a correlation there. O'Brien has used the four criteria of UFO hotspots while researching UFO reports in Sedona. I tried to look at what commonalities were there from one area to the to the next area to the next area, and I found out four things. One, there appears to be some sort of geophysical anomalies going on there. Like um, the magnetic like, uh, gradients. There tends to be um, some sort of legends or um, just a, a sense of sacredness. There are sacred mm -hmm. sites and, and areas that have been held in high esteem by the, by the indigenous yeah. people. The military is there and there's some sort of nearby military or government presence generally. And there seems to be a ongoing history of activity. The military's presence here is subtle, but definite. Many people have spoken of encounters with khaki-uniformed soldiers who prevented them from entering certain sites. Ten years ago, the Forestry Service quietly purchased the Bradshaw Ranch, reputed to be the busiest location for anomalous sightings in the area. The land was immediately posted, and all visitors turned back by guards.